What's up guys, Chaz here. If you're new to my channel, I basically teach you tips on how to better your photography. If you'd like to check a look, take a look at my work, my name is CM Visuals and I will leave a link down in the description. So today, I'm going to show you how you can make your eyes pop on your portraits. Um, the eyes are a really big part of your portrait. They were, they're, they're going to be what draws your audience in. So having depth and brightness in there really catches the attention of your audience and it'll, in the long run, give you a better photo. So stay tuned. So let's hop right in. So I've already done everything that I'm going to do to this image. I retouched the face. I've color adjusted. Globally dodged the whole photo, dodge and burn the whole photo. So the last thing I typically like to do is the eyes. So I'm going to create a curves adjustment um, dodge and burn layer. So I hit Command J so I can get two copies going. I'm going to call this one burn. And then I'm going to call this one dodge. And then so what I like to go is I go to go to the curves adjustment and for the burn layer I typically will bring it down to about right right there and then I'm going to invert that layer and then I am going to do the same with the dodge except I'm going to move this up a little bit so then I go in invert that layer as well and so after that, I go make sure my brush tool is selected and you want to make sure your white is selected first. And I typically like to do burning first. So I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. So after you selected your brush tool, I usually keep my opacity at about 100% and then my flow, we're going to do 10%. So typically I will go and darken the eyebrows a little bit. Then I'll start on the eyelashes. And then after that, I like to go to the dodge layer. And so the dodge layer, I usually up the flow. So I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna lighten the eyes up a little bit more. So we'll just say about 30 and a good tip to know where to add light in the eyes is if you take a look and you see this light where the light's catching in her eyes, that's you typically want to do the opposite side of that. So that would be right here. So what I'm going to go to do is I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I'm going to raise this up just a little bit more to maybe like 40. So now I go in here and color in this and brighten the eye up and do the same for this one. And as far as the brightness, you can do what you feel comfortable with. There's no opacity that you have to do. I'm, each image will be different, but I typically like to have them about that, that bright. And so then I go ahead and lighten up this some more. And then I will go back to the burn, the burn layer. And I'm going to drop this back down to tip. Now, after I've lightened up uh, or darkened, sorry, the eyelashes and the eyebrows, sometimes there are some people who have eyelashes down here, and I would go down there and darken that up as well. Some, um, they'll be a little bit more prominent, so I would go ahead and do the same as I would do to the top. And so I typically like to darken this area to try to show a little depth right right where the eye is around this area and then I go on the outer side of the eye and darken that then I go ahead and darken the pupils as well Let's zoom out Gives a little bit of did a little bit of depth, and so I'm going to go ahead and group these together so you can see the effect. Eyes, 
And so that's how I typically try to make my eyes stand out a little bit more. Um, if you want to go ahead and if you find that maybe your eyes aren't as light as you want to be, you can go in here and brighten it up some more. So now the eyes really pop. You can see the color. You can see the reflection in her eyes, the light reflecting. So it brings out the eyes a little bit more. All right, that's it. This is what I do to make my eyes pop. It's really simple. It's something quick, quick and easy, and I feel like it'll add a little extra to your photos. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, if there's a, a video you'd like me to do, um, explain a little bit more, just let me know. All right. Thank you for watching.